Everyone, and welcome back to the little blue fly if this is your first time visiting welcome and I invite you to subscribe to my channel it's as simple as pressing that subscribe button tapping the bell and making sure to select all to receive all of my future postings so everyone it's time to celebrate 20,000 subscribers I can hardly believe that this has happened and it it is all it's all because of each and every one of you that subscribe to my channel and help make the little blue fly a special place to visit um, I cannot tell you how honored I feel to have all of you um, following me along in my journey as I decorate this sweet little cottage here in Northern Virginia. I also want to thank all of you again for um, doing such a grand show up for me um, last video. It really did help me get out there and that algorithm. And if we can just keep on doing that, keep on hitting that like button, leaving comments, sharing, I think we just might have just make a little bit more movement here on the tube. So that being said, let's begin, shall we? Right here, I'm sure many of you are already familiar with this wall here in my kitchen. It had a shelf on it and as you can see, it's gone. The last shelf is out of here. <laughs> but as you can see right here, my husband also updated the hardware. Um, put in a new socket, a new switch with a dimmer. And then that cover um, back behind that, that used to be a telephone line. <laughs> so we also painted the wall all up and inside my kitchen we use by Benjamin Moore um, Revere Pewter. It's a fabulous color to work with. And right in the center, I placed another shelf, but one to my liking. And this was purchased many, many years ago from Hobby Lobby. And it's one of my new treasures that was just recently unpacked. And let's just continue on with the treasures this is um I, it, actually i purchased the frame from an antique it was a garage sale and it was just filled with numerous finds beautiful antiques um in california and i went ahead and made it into a chalkboard so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put on this yet, but um, I'm sure it'll be something spectacular, huh? <laughs> it has to be with this frame. And let's just keep the treasures rolling. Uh, this is a lamp that was purchased many years ago from... Um, the store was called Beverly Fabrics, just like my name, Beverly. Um, and I just, I fell in love with this piece when I saw it because of all of the fringy, beaded up lampshades. Um, I would absolutely love to be able to find more of these again. Hopefully they'll come back into circulation again really soon. But this just has a nice French country feel. And look at that glow. I, you know, it just doesn't get um, much prettier than this, guys. Um, again, it just screams French country with just a little touch of Tuscan in there, just the way I like it. Now, 
Now, before I go any further, I do want to point out that this is a hall. By no means am I decorating this space. Now, the chalkboard will stay there, and so will the shelf. Um, but all of these other pieces that I'm about to share with you, it's just OMG, Bev's been unpacking and I'm so excited to share. Now this was a new purchase. I will be using a few of these um, here at the cottage and they are um, canvas papers. And this one I fell in love with because of the highly aged look and then the greens, the different shading of greens on this piece. I just want to bring in more of that into the home. It is quite large. I believe, oh, I believe it is a five by eight. And again, it is a long canvas paper. If I can find some, I will share a link um, on my Amazon storefront. But here I have the other side just hanging down on the side and I tucked this one underneath and ignore that that was salad <laughs> how funny okay so anyways um I'm telling you videos have a way of picking up everything right um so again I did lay this out so all of you could really get a good look at this pattern it just um as you can see look I cleaned up the salad but um it just offers a nice old world fairy tale feel to me and that is the direction I'm going with this piece now this basket here I know I did share it but it it was just briefly and I wanted to just talk on it a little bit more and just go a little bit more into um, give you a better visual than I did when um, I had plants inside of it. This was purchased from Maryfield Garden uh, for five dollars. This is my my custom beauty right here. When I was uh, living in California, I'm so happy that this rooster um, made it here safely. I had this custom painted. Now, he was making many roosters with his concrete form, but he didn't have this color. And so we started mixing up some colors. I wanted a very nicely aged uh, buttercream yellow with some antiquing in there and we were able to achieve it with this beauty right here as you can see it's just going to work right in with all of the other decor pieces This is one of my, uh, another piece from many pieces I'm going to be sharing from California. I made this, I can't even tell you. it. This piece is so old and I never tire of it. I love all of the, the grapes and the, the glass beaded grapes. And I have little um, green pieces in here. Some, gosh, grape leaves. And it's so simple to care for. I just give it a nice little spray down with some soapy water and she always turns out beautifully all over again. So again, I'm just going to be displaying many, many pieces here. To the right, that's another video. That is um, to my dining table. It holds my leaves in there. 
to make my table much larger. I painted that as well to go with the antique table. But again, we'll get into that later. Then we have this chippy goodness pot right here. And I believe I did purchase the, this from um, Hobby Lobby. As you can see at the bottom, it has a little chipping on it, which is perfect. It just adds into the beauty. And I'm going to share some of this dried floral that um, if many of you have been following since last fall, um, I purchased quite a bit of dry floral and here is some of the pieces and I will be sharing more um, later on in the video. Can never have enough of the naturals during fall. So I place them up at top and we will be going in for a closer look. So I sort of staggered them. I put some in the center, made those taller, and then surrounded it, the taller ones, with shorter ones. This is came from California as well. Um, it is like a reproduction of um, like an old fishing basket. And this is a fun piece to um, hang from mirrors or, or panels or... And I have placed pears in it and some artichokes and yes, all those came from California as well. And then I added in a little bit of ribbon. So, so far we have a very nice French country touches of Tuscan feel going on here. This is absolutely delicious. I couldn't believe I actually purchased this ribbon from Hobby Lobby and when I was living in California. They had it, I'm wanting to say maybe for about a year maybe two I'm not sure but anyways for this roll it was $40 and I just waited for it to come on sale 50% off I love working with ribbons and um, beaded items here's another treasure from California it's my copper pot that was purchased from home goods and it was $49.99. Yes, they are kind of costly, but they are um, pretty special to decorate with. They just, um, they demand attention and I like decorating with them and giving them their uh, attention. <laughs> The, these right here, uh, they absolutely scream. I have two of them. They are candlesticks. Very, very old. Very old. As you can see, there are still some freeze-dried roses surviving. And I will be purchasing more and adding more in. But this just screams French country. Very fun pieces to work with and the the ivy that's wrapped around this candlestick is very very um it's very heavy gauged for it being so old and whenever i want to clean this i just give it a nice squirt down with warm soapy water and it just comes back to beauty This is a two-tier uh, two stand. I actually purchased this from a shop um, in Turlock, uh, California. And it has a beautiful French country property to it. It's very heavy. 
That's solid iron right there. And this piece is, I really enjoy working with this throughout the different seasons. Has a nice neutral base to it aged tones and pretty much whatever's placed on this piece is just turns out stunning now i know these can still be purchased because i have seen them around i'll see if i can find it if so i will link it i just place that over to the side and this is a, a preserved, I'm not sure what type of greenery this is, but it is absolutely preserved. And it's as simple as, well, it shipped quite well for its age, anyhow, being preserved. And it's, I just simply have to pull the leaves up, pull them out, and it's taking back its shape. And again, how I clean this is with a warm, soapy water. I just put it in a spray bottle and squirt it and squirt my things down and gently um, dab it with a cloth. And just look, by adding in that rich colored green inside the copper pot, it just, it just popped, right? So this another piece uh, from California. I have these apples. Uh, I wish I had more of these. They're very weighted and they really do resemble a nice golden delicious apple very, very well. And the yellow basket, I'm not quite sure where I purchased that from. I have this sweet little lamp that I just purchased from Maryfield Gardens. It was actually on clearance for $12. And the chippy goodness doesn't get any better than what this sweet little lamp has to offer. And the glow is just spectacular. I tuck that right in the back for now. And then I also, from Maryfield Gardens, purchased all these um, twiggy branches. And I believe these can be purchased off of Amazon as well. Again, I mean, I know I, could, I should be linking these, but everyone, I am just so overwhelmed over here and busy. So if you hear me say it could be on Amazon, go ahead and go there. I know I should be linking it and I promise I'll get better um, in the future. I'm just so busy right now. So I wrap them around and place them at the bottom of the apple basket. And these gorgeous chippy goodness, here we go, bookends. Fabulous pieces to decorate with. This came from one of my favorite shops in California and they're called Mulberry Lane, and they do have online ordering. I let them know that I was gonna be mentioning uh, their shop on my channel. So when you go there, they have some pretty things. If you go shopping away, make sure to mention that Beverly from the Little Blue Fly sent you, and they'll know who I am. And they offer also offer a little discount card that they punch as you shop. huge find right here huge i i know i mentioned in previous video how i was looking for some vintage or antique charles dickens books and i found them fabulous set here it just has one little marking on one of the front covers but these are in such almost perfect condition it doesn't even look like it's been they've been read 
But I tell you what, I will be reading them, pulling them off the shelf, and enjoying a good read. I always cherish those moments when I get them. And these will be going out on my stone bookshelves in the living room. It's all just starting to take form and come together nicely, but we're not finished yet. I still have quite a few items to share. I just have this sweet little bird's nest with the bird inside of it. This was purchased from Maryfield Gardens here in Northern Virginia. They do not have an online presence. However, um, I was speaking with the manager and she said that they are looking into it and I'll make sure to keep you all updated. Now, I couldn't have a haul and not mention Facebook Marketplace, right? <laughs> so, yes, these were purchased just recently. They have a little hook on the back. There is a set of three. And I purchased them for just $15. The depth on these frames are amazing. Very heavy duty. So much detail. I love when frames have different layers on them. And the last one, we have a yellow pair. And you know, when you're out there and you're thrifting for um, frames and pictures and you see the little dings on the corner, I don't even worry about that because I use this antiquing glaze right here. And I had a few people ask me about this in my last video. It's by Folk Art at Home Decor Wax. It is an antique wax that I purchased from Michaels. You brush it on and dab it off and you can't even notice that. It just goes right away. Beautiful gold and aged gold with the black on these three uh, pictures. It's literally, literally like Christmas over here right now, guys. I'm exhausted, but so very excited. Okay, I paid a little bit much for these, but it's because it is, um, it's pottery, $12.99. I purchased two of them. And you know, that's something that I've never um, tried before is, you know, working my hands in some clay and you know, before my lifetime is up, I surely would love to try to make a lopsided bowl or something. <laughs> but anyhow, beautiful green color on these candle holders. Huge find right here. Huge, huge, huge gathering basket this i found this I, I wish they still had their tent cell going on as you can see it is quite a large basket now that i know they have a tent cell i will be revisiting every summer look at this basket it was normally 75 dollars i picked it up scored 25 dollars endless possibilities with this beauty of a basket again it just speaks french country perfect for the cottage these next lamps purchased many years ago just recently unpacked them these are my fairy tale lamps everybody they're so fairy tale the glow is just <sighs> And I just love the glow on these lamps and I cannot, I have a huge, wonderful surprise coming up. A big, um, I can say this, my whole entire staircase and wall going up and foyer area is just going to be rich in a fabulous fairy tale. 
it is definitely going to take you all away to a different land, a land of pleasure for sure. I actually made the lampshades. I added on this beaded trim and after all these years, I still love them. Now the lamp bases, those actually came from Kirkland's many years ago. And here we have the old candle barn, some potpourri. This is apple crumb rose hips. And it smells mighty delicious. And I also purchased another one, Autumn Blend. Not only does it smell delicious, but it looks fabulous. I'm going to enjoy placing some of these in my different baskets and trays. I'm showing again because I was able to get my lighting a little bit better. I wanted to see if I could get a better, give you all a better view. And I also have this refresher oil, Christmas Memories, and Autumn Blend. So as long as the potpourri is looking good, I don't um, rid of it. I keep it and I just purchase refresher oils and put them in a Ziploc baggie and shake it up and have a wonderful scent all over again. I actually just found this piece recently from Home Goods, and it just reminded me of, um, you know, walking down a hallway during the night and just having that little glow of light. I could just see myself in an old gown just walking down the hallway going to grab a book and I couldn't help myself okay I, I just I could not help myself I have some more preserved botanicals I purchased quite a few last year because a home really can look fabulous everyone when you bring in the preserved florals. I know um, I stated many months back that um, if this is something that you are able to do, oh gosh, you will not be um, disappointed at all when you add in natural preserved greenery and florals into your home. I love bringing the outside in. I've been working, I was even out in my garden, as you can see from my nails, working out there in the dirt some more. <laughs> so I actually purchased four of these, but I just placed two in the basket. They look beautiful, as you can see, coming out of a basket or you can put them in a pretty vase. This, it, it's just a basic board, right guys? A very old board that has a beautiful fall scene painted on it. It's actually a gal, um, I go to the, I always say this wrong. I think it's called Minuteman Mini Mall. It's in Culpeper, Virginia, and there's a gal in there who is a fabulous artist. Look at this work. I actually have her making a couple more pieces for me. I'm excited to get them, and I will be sharing them soon. And then I have this sweet little squirrel that was on clearance for $7 at Maryfield Garden. You know, I just want to start bringing in more natural items into the home, more artwork, things that people make. Fell in love with this leaf. I actually took a trip to 
the at home store. Um, I'm only going to be sharing a couple things because I'm running out of room on my countertop. So I have much more to share, but this is just a fabulous um, aged maple leaf from at home. I'm going to put in some, probably some, well, for sure, some potpourri, some mini pumpkins. I purchased a couple of these um, scalloped trays from at home for $9.99. And because these are my color all the way, it just won't be used for fall or Christmas, but many of these items will be in my home up all year round. And here we have some mini pumpkins. They're so precious and fun to work with and look at. And this is Harvest Apple from the At Home store. They are wax melts for my burner. And this is a fabulous, fabulous scent. Okay, these scream Beverly all over them. Uh, how gorgeous are these highly detailed gold gilded pears? I mean, come on everyone. These are absolutely gorgeous. They had to come home with me, had to. I mean, possibilities are endless. You can place so many different things inside of these or not. Just leave it right like this. I wanted to purchase like more than two, but I just stopped and said two will be fine. And this little iron weaved basket was a clearance item uh, for $3 at Maryfield Gardens. And then I got a small one for $2. And I have another one, but I can't find it because outside of this area right here, menagerie. And as you can see in the back, you're about to see in the back. You're going to have to wait for the tour for that. But here is some small little ornaments that I purchased from Maryfield Gardens. And I love all of the different... Um, shiny glittery colors on these they will be going up very soon look at that sunflower just beautiful and i love the fuchsia and the plum mixed with the golds and they are pretty magical when they're all hung together. It's another sunflower. And some more plums and cobalt blue. So this is just the beginning of many wonderful items, everyone. Make sure to pay close attention to the mirrors in the back during the tour.